The last thing anyone would do is negotiate in front of the world press as to how he's going to approach a critical meeting with another adversary and or someone who could be an adversary. It's the last thing I'm going to do. But I will tell you this. I'm going to make clear to President Putin that there are areas where we can cooperate if he chooses. And if he chooses not to cooperate and acts in a way that he has in the past relative to cybersecurity and some other activities, then we will respond. We will respond in kind. I have met with him. He's bright. He's tough. And uh, I have found that uh, he is a, uh, as they say, when he used to play ball, a worthy adversary. But the fact is that uh, I will be happy to talk with you when it's over, not before, about what the discussion will entail. Every world leader here as a member of NATO that spoke today, and most of them mentioned it, thanked me for meeting with Putin now. Every single one that spoke. And I think there were probably about 10 or 12 that spoke to it. Navalny's death would be another indication that Russia has little or no intention of abiding by basic fundamental human rights. It would be a tragedy. It would do nothing but hurt his relationships with the rest of the world, in my view, and with me.